Hello guys and girls. Um, I just wanted to make a video here because uh, I've had quite the experience um, messing with this ALU. I just got this. Um, it's November 2nd, 2023. Anyway, these new cabinets that got shipped out in the month of like November or October... Um, probably a lot of you people that did the pre-order and stuff for this new run. These cabinets came loaded with a firmware that couldn't be updated no matter what. Um, I believe it was 10940 underscore A18 firmware. And uh, from anybody that's been looking on forums or anything, like we know the current firmware is like 5.7 or something. So, I was just like, well, what's this firmware? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and I couldn't do anything with that firmware. Um, I still don't have anything on here, but but uh, with that firmware specifically, that 10940A18 firmware, you can't run anything on it. Uh, One Sauce, CoinOps X. Um, so, something needed done. Um, I tried connecting my cabinet to the internet, logged in, um, I tried updating it through the system, it said that that was the current firmware, which wasn't true. Um, so I reached out, some people said you can factory reset your machine by holding down the reset button, powering it on, and then holding these two buttons in while it's booting up. It'll prompt a reset, and then it'll prompt you to... Um, update your firmware. Well, I did that, and when the machine reset and it came back on, it was the same exact firmware. So I got nowhere with that. Um, I did find a workaround, though, and I hope this video helps some people, you know, get out of this. Um, as you can see now, I am on 5.68, which is supposedly, like, the Goldilocks firmware, you know, where there, it had the most um, compatibility with a lot of things before they went to 5.7. Anyway, um, before I was talking on a Facebook group, and I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on, but I'm just trying to get the whole story of what I went through. This, these are screenshots I left on a Facebook group trying to get answers to what was going on. This was the, the page I was getting when I tried to update it. Your Legends Ultimate Device, current firmware, yeah, 10, 9, 40, 18 is the latest firmware version, blah, blah, blah. This is me resetting the cabinet, uh, factory resetting it, and it would give me that splash screen that the firmware was updating, and then when it was done, it was the same thing. So, what I ended up doing was digging around on Reddit, and I found um, a link, which I'll share, I'll put it in the, in the description below. But it's basically, uh, somebody just had a link to the image file for 5.68. So, from my understanding, what had to be done is you download this image file. Okay. I had it right here. Now, this is named something different when you download it. It's not entirely different, but it has to be named this. It's about 1.2 gigs. When you get it downloaded, it, it'll be a disk image file, as you can see right here. When you have this downloaded, rename it this, exactly. HA8800 underscore update dot IMG. Once you have that named this, what you want to do is you want to take a, a thumb drive, a flash drive, and then... Uh, format it to FAT32 or XFAT, one of the two, and then put that file that you renamed, put it on the root of that um, flash drive that you just formatted. Once you do that, you know, once it's completely transferred over, take it out of that, plug it into one of your USB ports here on your arcade, make sure your arcade's on. When you plug that in, you get, it takes a couple seconds, and if it doesn't come up, take it out, put it back in, but a screen will come up, and it'll prompt you that, like a, uh, 
like a firmware update has been recognized on this drive or whatever, just follow the prompts on that. It'll take about five minutes, but it'll go through everything. Your arcade will reset, and then once it comes back on, you should have five 